And here's the key, folks, that psychology and the way that we think, this is really the biggest differentiator between people overall. Now, you might say, well, how is that when this person has all this money and this person has all these muscles and this person has these resources? How is it psychology different? Because the way that people think determines what we do. In life, the achievement process is being, doing, and having in a three-step process, and it goes in order. You have to be a certain type of person first, then you do certain actions, and then you get certain outcomes. So when you see a difference between people that seems to the eye, you're looking at them, you're like, this person has all this stuff, and this person has much less. What's the difference between them? You might think it's what you can see physically, but it's actually who they are mentally, internally, in ways that you cannot see. But the good news about that, even though you can't see the difference mentally between them, is that you can see its manifestation in what they have. So this person makes a million dollars a year. This person makes $50,000 a year. What's the difference between them? You might think, well, the difference is the money. Well, that is one of the differences, but that's not why there's a difference. The difference between them is not just that this person has it and this person doesn't have it. The difference is what did this person do to get to a million? What did this person do to get to 50000 And then... How is this person who's making a million dollars a year thinking? How's the person making $50,000 a year thinking? It's a mindset difference. It's a psychology difference. The difference in psychology leads to a difference in action. The difference in action leads to a difference in outcome. Most people only think about the actions and the outcomes. This is why most people spend their entire lives doing a whole bunch of hard work, yet still don't get the outcomes that they want to because they don't understand the formula and they're missing a step. The step that you're missing is the psychology. You get the right psychology, that will change your actions. When you change your actions, of course, it changes your outcomes. Most people get the action and outcome part. 